we have new technology. It's called a true beam from Varian Services. Varian makes linear accelerators. So what's a linear accelerator? So a linear accelerator is a machine that can actually generate photons. Previously, we used to use radioactive sources for radiation treatments like cobalt. Back in the old days, they actually had radium needles that they would actually put into tumors and such. But now we're able to create a beam, a pure beam from, from electricity. Now we're able to go to much higher energies, much higher doses because human beings are able to now generate the radiation. You take that little bit of electricity, you speed it up, and I can get an, a, a beam of energy at any energy that I want. Radiation is the same type of radiation that you're being exposed to from the sun every day. Those are photons, these are photons. We're harnessing small amounts of radiation. There's no radioactive material. The patients are never radioactive when they leave. Um, you know, they're not gonna be glowing green. They have no sensation of this radiation whatsoever. There's no pain associated with it. Basically what we've done is we generate the radiation at that site, modulate it, target it, hit the tumor with it, and it's all done. This is our treatment head. This again provides the treatment beam to, to be able to kill the cancer and treat the cancer. There's nothing like this. And that's the cool thing. We've looked at all kinds of machines when we knew we were gonna be getting a new machine. We, we looked at everything. Everything was kind of open to us. What this can do is give me the precision that a cyber knife or a gamma knife can, but it does it in a fraction of the time. This is a machine that has uh, four times the dose rate, which means that it treats four times faster. So when I first started doing stereotactic radiotherapy and training, um, our treatments were taking about 45 minutes. We now have it down to a point where you're probably gonna get stereotactic treatments done in under three to five minutes. Comparing two minutes or less to 40 minutes, it's day and night different. It targets based on our planning. This is our treatment council. We're able to bring the patients up. We see the patient in all dimensions that you see here. We bring the treatment plan up. We'll be able to see all the dimensions of the tumor and confirm the treatment. What I can see, I can treat. I take CTs, MRIs, PET CTs, and I merge them all together to identify a patient's cancer. I've told the computer exactly where everything is on that patient. Lungs, heart, vessels, nerves, everything. I can go through with a computer to pick the best treatment individually for each patient based on the depth, based on its location. Maybe it's just under their arm, right above their lung. Maybe it's right through their back, just to the side of their, of their spinal cord to get to that tumor to miss everything else. That's what gives us a benefit over something like, let's say, proton beams. Proton beam, you have a proton that's always gonna have the same energy. Whereas now, I can deliver energy to any depth I want. Millimeter by millimeter, I can change that depth of delivery. And on top of that, it's got a new table that doesn't just give you three degrees of freedom, but rather gives you six degrees of freedom. So I can rotate, bend, do whatever I need to, to get whatever extra thing out of the way, maybe an eye, maybe a nerve, that I don't want treated. So you can come at the tumor from all different angles to spare normal tissues while still getting a very good dose. And also make the patient more comfortable on the table. I start the machine, the machine starts to rotate around incredible accuracy and precision. But in between all these shots, I'm able to take images to confirm I'm right on my target. I could never do that before. It has a CAT scanner on it that is of diagnostic quality, which means it's taking some of the best images that you could possibly ask. The imaging for the CT scanner is through these arms. This is actually the arm that does the, produces the image itself, and this is the arm that receives the image and takes it back to the treatment console. As our imaging has improved, radiation has made quantum leaps. Its precision is down to 0.1 millimeters, so down to the head of a pin precision. We use green lasers to allow us to be able to come to a specific point under this beam, as you can I'll maybe see the crosshairs on my hand, to be able to pinpoint our patient positioning each day. It, there, there isn't anything like this on the whole east side of LA over the mountain to us. There's nothing like this. There's been a lot of advances made during this last decade in terms of stereotactic treatments. Everything that we've learned so far, we've integrated into our practice here at the Comprehensive Cancer Center. Something that people don't understand about, about cancer is that in a, in a typical suburban setting, you go see a chemotherapy doctor at one office. You go down about a mile down the road, you see the radiation oncology doctor. Then you see the surgeon who's really close to the hospital. But all three of them are separate. For us, everyone is in one building, in one location, just like the major universities. What we have here is radiation oncologists, we have surgeons, we have medical oncologists, 
And we have all the other support services. We have social workers, we have nutritionists. We bring our patients' information together. We sit down as a group and we devise a treatment plan. You actually have a treatment team. So you get a team of four or five doctors from all different specialties discussing your case. You're not alone. You're not talking to one doctor you, who you hope talks to the other doctor. We've already sat down gone through your diagnosis, gone through all of your x-rays, and set up a plan to begin your treatment course, working in concert together. When you think of treating your cancer, you've got one chance, and you want the best team on your side.